I've spent the last 15 years in homeopathy education at one level or another. In the last five years, I've had a very formal uh, and challenging role in Australia running a homeopathic department. And that has meant getting across issues of curriculum, issues of um, uh, educational theory. And uh, because the um, college that I work at pitched its uh, offerings at Bachelor of Health Science level in Australia, we had to go to the government and say, this course is benchmarked to every other Bachelor of Health Science in the country. So it was jam-packed full of science. It was jam-packed full of social science, counselling theory, everything you would want in a Bachelor of Health Science degree. And then there's the homeopathic component to it. Now, we met resistance and uh, we fought, we went back and forth with the uh, regulatory authorities and we got it over the line. Now, the way we got it over the line was to pack it full of research. So, it's the, as far as I know, it's the only course in the world with five dedicated research subjects within its, um, within it, the body of, of specific knowledge, uh, content. And um, firstly, we teach students how to read a paper, how to reference properly, how to, um, uh, you know, what is a, a, a cohort study, that sort of thing. So conventional research method. But then there's a bridge because our students want to study homeopathy. So we've got to say, well, these are the issues and these are the dramas and particular issues relating to this particular line of inquiry. And so there's a bridge there where we warm them up to the issues. Then, one of the things that's just so obvious is that students and graduates of homeopathy around the world, they're not aware of the amazing body of knowledge we've got in research. Now, those 160 trials that we've got, those eight conditions, the basic science. So in a very gentle way, pitched right, just for where it is in the program, we let them know who is Endler, who is Baumgartner, who's Tournier, what's going on with all of that stuff, who are these people that have written those amazing papers, who's Peter Fisher? So they know. Um, and then, of course, by that time in the, in the process, um, they're ready for some um, research of their own. And they do some plant trials, gentle, pitched right, they do some proving work. Uh, where they participate in an ethically approved homeopathic proving. And then we also do some critical thinking about some of the things going on in the homeopathic landscape with re regards to the latest developments in homeopathy method. Shulton, Sankaran, Manjilavori, all of that sort of stuff. And so at the end, the product is a homeopathic student that's skilled, but they're critical thinkers. They're confident and they're competent to run out into practice.